welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I have done a talking video. I think it was in March the last time I like spoke to the camera. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of those ASMR and silent and no talk vlogs, but today we're gonna to do a flip through of my reading journal, like six months into the year to see what state it's in um, part way through the year. So let's just start, we'll just get into it. Um, so first off, I made this little clip thing here on the side to keep a pen with the journal. This is just one of those paper clips, um, those like project paper clips like that. I, I don't know what they're called. And I saw this on Pinterest. So it's just a ribbon glued on the sides here and it's elasticated one and I can just slide a pen or a pencil in there like that. Um, just like that and then clip it onto the side of your notebook or journal or whatever. I do this with um, books as well. Um, ones that I'm annotating, I don't annotate everything that I read. So super handy little clip thing. And then the journal still isn't stuck into the cover. I like being able to take it out and do stuff with it. Uh, so I won't stick it to the cover until the end of the year. I may even change the cover because the it's too um, it needs a, a wider spine. So I may make another one. See how I'm feeling. So yeah, here we go. So here is the front page. It's just a general collage page with Book Journal 2020. Pretty straightforward. And then I've just on the side just added some washi tape just to hold it all together. It's gotten like fairly thick. And when I'm going to stick in the journal, this whole back page will just, I'll just stick in that whole back page onto the back cover instead of trying to attach the spine to it. So, okay. First off, we just have my list of books. Very straightforward, title, series, author, format, pages or hours, and whether I own it or I got it from Scribd or the library or whatever. And then this would be uh, the page where you can find it in the book, but I haven't filled in any of that. And then I have made space for um, 115 books, which I seriously doubt I will read. I would normally read probably 80 to 100 books in a year. But so far this year I've only read 30, so I am falling behind this year. But you know, it's been a strange year. So the next section then is my reading goal. And if you saw my original journal for the start of the year, I had a very different layout for this, but I changed my goal and then I made a mistake on the thing. So I just scrapped it and done this spread then instead. What I've done is just put down these little pieces of paper and then put my goal to 80 and then I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and stamping the numbers that when I'm done or when I've reached that goal. So yeah, pretty simple, straightforward, much, much easier than what I did have on that page, which is on this side. And I added this translucent paper and then this ribbon is um, like a belly band, I think it's called. And in here, I just have some little straps. I have a picture of Mr. Thornton from North and South. And then this little envelope. And in here is just a quote from North and South. And I just have this just because I like it. I think that was one of my favorite books, and I will probably reread it this year. I did listen to an audiobook, an abridged audiobook earlier. And, um, I will probably reread the novel. I'm just trying to decide if I want to wait for October or if I'm just going to read it. So next time we have my TVRs, which I have down here as being my reading plans. So this is just the title page and that's a picture from the English patient. So first is January and I've been doing them as collages. I did do a few uh, journal with me videos, but I tend to change my mind like during the year I, I go through the journal and I see things and I'm like I don't really like that anymore so I change it so this page was different I think I did a journal with me 
of this page and I wasn't too into it so I've changed it since. So I write my TBR down on this side and I have a collage on this side and I don't really like the block of text showing so I've covered it with a book page that you can lift and there's the text underneath. And then on the collage side, this is a little envelope I made and that's a little pocket thing. So I have these that they can slide in and out and you can open up the envelope there and that's in there. I just love having little pockets and slots and stuff like that in a journal. So that's that page. In February, same kind of thing. That's a pocket. I could put something in there if I wanted. That's another pocket and that's another pocket. Don't have anything in there. And these guys are from a set of um, journaling elements that I made. You can, I'll leave a link to them down below. They're on my blog and you can download them and use them in your own journal if you want. So here's March. March was the Irish readathon. So I have some stuff about Ireland, some like newspaper clippings and old advertisements um, about Ireland. I can't remember where I got these things. I think. I got them on the New York Public Library website. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have a look and um, if I find out where I got them, I'll link them in the description. Um, I think it's the New York Public Library. They have loads of images and stuff that you can download and use in journaling. And again, this is just a page you flip over to see what I had down for my TBR, which is very short. and. Um, I didn't really read, but they, you know, March was a funny month. It's when every, the lockdown was announced and everything. It was um, a stressful kind of a time, so I didn't do much reading. April was the magical readathon, so I have my little TBR here for the owls, um, just there, and that's one of them. It's food. And I have um, a more kind of detailed one there with the actual books. This one is just what I, um, what uh, career I was going for in the owls. And then here's May, just another book page. And of a more simple collage here. And June, which is this month. Yeah, so here's June, which is this month. I got kind of lazy with my collage here and just stuck down loads of music and this kind of uh, letter and there's my TBR. Only one of those I have actually read and we're halfway through the month. I need to get on that. So yeah, there's that, another little pocket there. I really like using these to cover over the block of text. I think it goes better with the collage. And then July, which is Jane Austen July. So I have some kind of uh, Regency feeling things for my collage here. And um, another little, another little library card to write down what I want to read. There are prompts for this readathon, but I haven't written them. I might, read, I might write them on the back of this love letter. And um, I've only picked out two books for Jane Austen July. I'm probably going to focus this year on Emma. Last year I focused on Pride and Prejudice and I read like Pride and Prejudice, retellings of Pride and Prejudice and adaptations of it. So this year I'm probably going to do Emma for that. And then the rest of the pages are blank but I have all this September and so on. Just some tape on the sides just to strengthen the pages. And then next we have my wrap ups and they are pretty much the same thing. This is the title page. I think this is the same from when I done my original flip through. Um, here is a pocket. All those guys can come out if they want, if I want to use them for something. Hit the camera. And yeah, so January. Again, it's a collage and then just the list on the other side of what I read. But in my wrap ups, I kind of try to make 
the list a part of the collage. So here I've written it down on um, some um, an extra piece of paper and stuck it in. Kind of made it all kind of oldy looking. I, I wish I had like really nice fancy writing, but this is the best I could do. I did use a, like a quill to write this, so I thought that would give me like nice fancy curvy calligraphy, but not so much. And in February, I only read two books in February. And March, this one I made a, a band thing again and wrote my books down on a little piece of paper to put inside this little envelope that I made. Just to make it a bit more interesting. They're just stuck down with a paper clip. April, and I wrote the books down on these two guys just to make it more, um, more part of the whole collage. And May, and I've done another one of those bands. And this time, I made this envelope as well. I read a lot in May. It was strangely. I haven't been reading all year. So in May, I think I read like 11 books. So I wrote them down on this coffee stained paper. And June is where we are now. I um, I think I finished two books, which I haven't written them down on yet, but I have. Um, a library card. I think I got this from the Graphics Fairy. I have a link to them on my website. I will include it down below in the description so you can use these as well if you want. And behind my page here I have two spaces for um, putting this in so if I read a ton I can fill them in there which it's not likely considering I've read two and we're already we're on like the 18th I think it is today. And then the rest is pretty much blank. I just put those stickers down there because I thought they were pretty and they'd suit Jane Austen July. So the rest of them are blank. And I have the challenge section. And this is pretty much unchanged from my, um, from my first flip through. I've just added in books that I've read into spaces where they fit. So then I've just started filling in the spaces. Not too many. You see, my reading has been so bad this year. And this is my romance Opoly board. Here, these are just cards that I have. Um, spaces on the board that I've completed. I just stuff them in there when I'm when they're done. And this is the board as I made it. So. I'm using this stamp and paper clip to mark my current space on the board and any of the envelopes that have a little stamp on them mean that I've completed that space. And this is the task to go with each space on the board, which would be like whatever Soldier Street. I have a card then to correspond to that with the task on it. My current space I keep here. So this is my current one is Flirt's Corner, which is here. And here is where I keep a list of the books that I've completed. So there's nothing really under there. Um, that flap. So that's my current one. And then these are the ones that are completed and these are the ones I still need to do. So it's just the name of the, the space on the board and then the book that I read. Just the tripod. And then this is another challenge I was doing from Fated Mates, the podcast. It was from um, for the first six months of the year and I've only read three books for it. So I have three left to do, which they should have been read each month, but I think I'll just do them as I feel like it. And um, yeah, so that's where that is. And that comes out. I don't have anything written on the back of it. And that is the journal. I did have all these extra pages in it. 
blank pages but I took them out because it's gotten too full it's gotten quite thick like and it just wasn't fitting like it's already stretched so far like this page the edge of it is down there I have to curve it the whole way around so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna be adding anything extra no book reviews or anything like that and when I'm ready, I'm going to stick down this whole page to the back of it to um, keep it on the cover. So it's gotten pretty chunky, but I'm enjoying it. It's just going to get chunkier as well as I keep adding collages to it each month. But the collages are so much fun to do. I love doing it. It's a lot of fun to do while, you know, watching TV or listening to an audiobook or whatever. It's a great kind of way to pass the time. And it's fun making things kind of bookish themed or theming them around things that are happening that month. So that's my reading journal as it stands at the moment. I'll do another one of these videos at the end of the year, probably be January, just, just to have a completely finished journal and um we'll do another flip through then so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope i didn't stutter or stammer or get tongue-tied too much it's been so long since i spoke uh, on video i'm totally out of whack with it so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already i do journaly stuff and reading vlogs and wrap-ups and I do these ASMR kind of home vlogs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, be sure to check out my other videos if you're new here and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one.